Welcome back. All right, so uh, now is the perfect time to overreact to one game. So I watched this one, and, and I thought ESPN really talked up the stars, and all I kept mumbling was, you know, this is this is a good game. A very good game by Dallas. I don't want to under undercut what was done here today, but it's one game, and they're coming off wins against Arizona and Chicago. And like I said, those wins were important. It's important for Dallas to get their confidence back. Today is a part of that, but it's part of a process, right? And for Colorado, this is their second sloppy game in a row. They need to fix this. And that's after um, a, a really good victory to start the week. So rough finish to the week for Colorado. There are clearly some issues here. We'll see if they get it cleared up. So it's Georgia versus Ottinger. Makar returns to the lineup. Uh, good back and forth early on. Hayskin has a tip shot that saved. The Stars press at two and a half minutes. They're kept to the outside, but they would score. Robertson at 333 from Hintz and Pavelski, and that was fired short side after a turnover. One key thing today was some players who've been struggling to put up points and goals started to do that for Dallas. That was big. Uh, that was the third star shot. The Avs had one. They did not start on time today. Things get pushy as a penalty is called. The Stars go to the power play as a result. There's a shorthanded three-on-one. Byram's shot was saved there. Uh, the next chance was held. So that power play's killed off no shots. Uh, Dallas's power play came into today with some concerns and probably leaves today with some concerns as well. Uh, Stars press after it's done. They press as well at eight minutes, controlling most of the play. And at 10.09, they get the second goal. It's Haskin in from Ben. It was a wrist shot off a face-off win, and it was through a screen. I don't think that it was seen at all by Georgiev. Stars press for more. There's a near miss for Dodonov. Things get punchy with 8.18 left. These teams not liking each other very much. Stars go to their second power play. Strong penalty kill again by the Avs, and they kill that one off as well. I don't know that there was a shot on that one. There might have been one. There wasn't much going on in that power play. So, uh, that happens. McKinnon then has a rush chance that's saved, and then Gerard puts Colorado on the board from Newhook at 16.03. That one goes in off Sagan's stick. Rodriguez then has a net feed that's blocked, and then Dallas, they get their third goal. It's Pavelski from Robertson and Hintz at 17.42. And that's a key goal for Pavelski because that is his first in 18 games. It's been a while. It was a tic-tac-toe, and that's the monkey off the back of Pavelski. Rantanen then has a rush chance that saved. McKinnon's denied in the final minute, but it's 3-1 Dallas after one. Second period. Byram fires one wide during an early abs press. The Stars then press at three and a half minutes, but again, they're kept to the outside there. Uh, Malgan has a shot that's held. The abs would press at four and a half minutes. McCarr goes kind of beast mode there. Couldn't get to the net though. McKinnon couldn't bury one. That puck's cleared out. And then Marchman with his first in 32 games at 525. The assists from Suter and Sagan. And Domi helped set that one up. They've got Domi and Marchman on the same line. I had a feeling they'd do that. And Sagan's in the middle. Man, that's going to be... That's a line that in the playoffs is probably going to irritate some people. So it was a screenshot on that one as well. The Stars press for another. The fourth line having a really good game in this one. Pavelski has the shot that saved. The rebound's cleared. Uh, they showed two Avs fans in the front row right near the net that while Dallas fans are cheering and screaming, they're just sitting there looking miserable. If you were one of those two Avs fans, I I, I feel bad. I do because um, those, those tickets were probably pretty expensive and they just had a really miserable experience. So... Uh, Sagan couldn't bury a loose puck. The Stars press. Cogliano then has a net feed that's cleared. And then there's a four check. There's a turnover. And Fox tips one in. Lindell with the shot from the point at 11.39. Uh, that makes it 5-1. to one. I don't know which one of those Gergiev was supposed to save. But Kincaid comes in. So this is why you make the trade for Kincaid. Uh, he's still wearing his Bruins pads. A little bit awkward, but that's all right. Uh, Stars press for another. Lekkonen has a rush chance that's kicked aside. We get more turnover issues from the Abs, who are just all out of sorts today. Uh, press by Colorado with three minutes left. Things get pushy on a hold by Ottinger. With 2.3 seconds left, the Stars go to the power play. So that rolls over into the third period. Third period, Pavelski can't bury one in close. That power play ends up being killed off. Just the one shot allowed. Uh, Abs press after the kill. The Stars were a post away from 6-1, to one, and then they get it anyways. Uh, on a turnover, uh, it's in the net. Johnston at 4-15. The Stars then press for another. Uh, Dodonov has a wraparound that saved. McKinnon with a net drive, that was saved as well. Uh, the shots are 5-4 to four for the Stars with 9 minutes left. And then Colorado mounts a bit of a comeback. First, it's Cogliano. 
bearing a rebound. Uh, Gerard and O'Connor with the assists at 11.49. Stars press for a response with 5.29 left, though the Avs get a power play, and they score on it. It's Rodriguez from Newhook and Gerard at 16.19. It was a good cycle. It scored late in the power play. There were only a few seconds left, but they all count as power play goals. So they pull the goaltender because they're down by a few, and there's still that, that remote chance that maybe they get another, make it closer, but in the end... Uh, pulling the goaltender allows Robertson to hit the empty net at 16:53. That's the second goal of the game and his third point of the game. Uh, and then Malgin was denied on the doorstep with 58.1 seconds left. The Avs get another power play. That's unsuccessful. Your final score is seven to three. Dallas goes to 34-16 and three with the win. Colorado 34-21 and five with the loss. With this win, Dallas goes back into first in the conference. Again, they seem to have overcome the struggles they've had for months. We'll see whether or not they truly have the week coming up. I hope they have. I really do. Shots in this one, 12-11 Dallas in the first, 10 apiece in the second, 14-7 Colorado in the third. Final shots, 35-29 for the Avs. Power plays, Colorado 1-2, for two, Dallas 0-3. Oh Much like Boston, Dallas's power play has been a misadventure. Uh, hits 24-20 for Dallas. Georgiev saves 14 out of 19. Kincaid saves 8 out of 9 in relief, and Ottinger saved 32 out of 35. Very good game by Ottinger, but again, I thought ESPN really made it sound like these guys could win a Stanley Cup, and I thought, well, just pump, uh, just personally as a Stars fan, I'll pump the brakes on that, because I've seen a lot of games before this week that they had their struggles. I really do hope this is them turning it around. And I think the, the upcoming week is going to tell us whether or not they're turning things around for real. Uh, but let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And one last question for Avs fans. Back-to-back -back games where they've allowed seven goals. Is that of a concern? How do you feel about that? Or do you think eh, it's just a couple of games and they'll turn it around? Let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.